But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran is mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. In the prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, you know, uh, the the Antichrist is uh, always they gather together, you know, they join forces together. But the Antichrist, uh, always they show their hypocrisy. You know, like in, uh, there is a war statement says, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. And this guy, Tuiva Singer, he is a potato and we expose him many time. The Muslims, they use him as a proxy to fight Christianity. But you know, the Muslims as usual, the Mohammedans, when they use such a character, a person who have no dignity, they expose their prophet. You know, when the Mohammedan, they asked this guy, somebody asked, well, the Muslim, they believe that the Messiah uh, is the same as the Messiah of the Christians. They call him the Messiah. So to weave a singer, he decided to refute that, uh, such a statement. You know? That you are wrong. How? How this guy, he can refute such a statement? We will listen a little bit, and then we will laugh. And right away you will see why I call this person a hamster. Listen. Fits so neatly into what we were just discussing. So Muslims are using the term Mashiach about about Jesus, Isa. Christians are using the term Messiah about what they believe in. Jews use the term Messiah. We don't believe in Jesus. But the key is that Christians, Jews, and Muslims mean something really different. This, thank you. So that's a great question. For ex this, Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> thank you. No, 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 I did not get it. I mean, I understand that you are a Jew. You don't believe in the Messiah. He did come yet. But Muslims and Christians and Jews, they believe in total different Messiah. Thank you, hamster. You know, you are just a hamster. We will get you busted in a second. I want everyone, especially Muslims, to go to his page and say to you, to him, shame on you for accusing our Prophet to be a liar. Look at the poopoo he will do. He will throw his poopoo at Muhammad, at his Quran, at Allah. Yet he think he is just fighting Christianity. This guy is a coward. He don't dare. He don't dare to attack Islam. He's a hamster. But without knowing, he throw a big poo poo at Muhammad. Example. Like, let's go to the heart of the matter. To Muslims, first of all, Jesus was a prophet. No more. Who care? The question is, 
They call him the Messiah. The other asked me about even Jesus, you idiot. They call him the Messiah. This is the question. So the question is not is he a prophet or not. <laughs> if they call him the Messiah, that means the Messiah has come or had come. The coward, he will not dare to say to the Muslims, oh, this is false Messiah. A hamster. You see, a person who don't dare to say his belief, he has no belief. He don't have any. This coward, he don't dare to say to the Muslims, you know what? You're a prophet that lied to you, and the Messiah is not the Messiah. The Messiah has not come yet. So the Jews, they say, you know, the Muslim, they believe he is a prophet or not. This is the nature of this person. This is not a different person. Isn't it the Quran say that he is a son of Mary? Isn't it the Quran say that she is virgin? So now who cares if they believe he is a prophet or he is not a prophet? The question is, is he the Messiah? The coward, he will not dare to say, no, he is not. Because he will never dare to insult Islam or to offend Muhammad. The poopoo is coming. A, the highest form of prophet, a rasul, which means rasul. he came with the sharia, which means a, a, a message, a written message that was for the generation, whatever. The, but he was the highest order of prophet. That's what he was. Okay? Mm -hmm. but, is he a prophet for you? This is, what was. this is what he was. But this is another question. They are calling him a messiah. I mean, this person, he have no dignity. Are you going to answer the question or not? Muslims don't believe that Jesus was the son of King David. He, they don't? Jesus, the Muslim don't believe that Jesus is descendant from David. Are you sure? Potato, are you sure? He was, okay. But Muslims don't believe that Jesus was the son of King David. So now this is the refutation, brother. The Muslims, they don't believe that Jesus is a descendant from David. That's it. He killed it now. Are you sure? Say it again. So it's very different. Really very, different. Very different. They don't believe. I want you to listen to that again. Listen, listen to it again, please. Please listen to it again. This is serious. Muslims do not believe that Jesus was a descendant of King David or the... Son of Muta'a let me get you busted and let everybody laugh at you. This is the Quran, you filthy, you dummy, you, you know, what a, what a piece of garbage you are. You know what? I'm not going to use, use the word shit because I'm not going to insult shit using it for you. Shit can be used as a manure and you are useless. This is the Quran, chapter 6, verse number 84 and verse number 85. The Quran is counting the prophet who they are descendant. From Abraham, you can read from verse number 83, and he is putting them in an order. And there he says the Quran, that Abraham, Allah, he gave him two child, Isaac and Jacob. And each of them we guided. And then Muhammad, he jumped as usual to Noah. And then he continues saying, among his progeny, listen carefully, potato son of Muta, and among his progeny, going back to Abraham, David, Solomon, Job, Yusuf, Joseph, Moses, Aaron, Zechariah, Yahya, which means John, and Isa, and this coward, think carefully, Muslim believe, believe that Jesus is the son of David. Listen, listen carefully. Listen, this is big, this is big, this is really big. This, this is what he said. This guy was squeezing himself, and only Allah knows what is coming from his anus. This is, listen carefully. Listen, 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 listen. Like he got us busted, you know? Like the Muslims, they have different, a different one. It's different one. <laughs> they don't believe that he is from David.
So now like this guy, he like he got it, you know? Listen, 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 listen. But Muslims don't believe that Jesus was the son of King David. Really? So it's very different. I love it when he squeezed himself. Very different. And, and, and what, what, what? Look at this face. Look at this face. Look how, you see how much it taken his, he's squeezing what? I have no idea. I wish there's a camera underneath of his chair. But Muslims don't believe that he is the son of David. They don't believe that he is the son of David. Are you sure? How many of you will go there and laugh at this guy and say to him, you stupid, in the Quran it says he is. <laughs> and not only that, in the Quran, I will show you a different reference too. But look at this, look at this, what the heck? That's deep. Believe that Jesus was the son of King David. So it's very different. Very, really different. Really different. They don't believe. I want you to listen to that again. I want you to listen to that again and put his head around his hand, his hand around his like, like, like a monkey now. I want you to listen to this again. Listen, this is the core of my reputation. This is the core. The hamster. The hamster now is in stand up. His hair is coming up. The tail is coming up. I want you to listen carefully. I want you to listen carefully. I want you to listen to that again. Mo again, no, no, no. I cannot be see, see because uh, Satan, he be in my ears, as Prophet Muhammad said. They don't believe. I want you to listen to that again. No way. Just say it again, please. Come on. I don't. Uh, I did not get it. what. Look at this face. Look at this. How much he is squeezing himself. This guy. And uh, now I know why he is successful in selling jewelries to the Muslims. Really different. They don't believe. I will say to them, I swear by Allah, this is a real diamond. <laughs> I want you to listen to that again. Muslims do not believe that Jesus was the descendant of King David or the fulfillment of a Davidic covenant. It's not all because you stupid donkey. Even the Quran, the holy chapter, it's called the chapter of Ali Umran. The chapter of Al Imran, you idiot. And the chapter of Al Imran is speaking about the, the family of the Prophet of Israel, all of them from Imran. Stupid idiot. I mean, where this guy he is coming from? And not only this. You see, the Quran says in chapter 4, verse 159, that every single Jew has to believe in the Messiah Christ, the son of Maryam, when he come back and before he go and resurrected. Every single Jew, this is the Quran. Do you see it? So according to the Quran, Mr. Hamster, to weave a singer, you are going to believe in Jesus, you like it or not. And not a single Jew will stay a Jew. All of them, they will become a Christians. All of them. Not a single person in this earth will not become a Christian. The Quran witnessed that. It says here, read carefully, read carefully. And there's none of the people of the scriptures. And here, supposedly, the Jews, because the Christians already believe in Jesus anyway but must believe in him. And here it says, between two brackets, Isa Jesus, because it's not, it's not mentioning the name, but it's appeared in the pre previously in the previous verse here. Same time, when the Quran mentioned, who is Isa? He is the son of who? What is the prophet they belong to, etc. It's mentioned all the progeny and goes all the way to Abraham. Is the progeny David? Suleiman, Job, Joseph, Moses, Aaron, Zechariah, Yahya, which is John, and Isa, which is Jesus. And then he, the last one he mentioned is Elias. So this stupid idiot, when he says things, you know, it just, it, it, this is just like an entertainment person for the Muslims. Uh, for him, he hates Christianity. The Muslim, they use him to fight Christianity, but the same as they invited uh, Borat, Rahman, you know, 
to fight Christianity, both of them, they expose Muhammad in the same time. How? Because if the Muslims, they believe that the Messiah is Isa, then either the Muslims are liars, which means Muhammad is lying, or this guy and the Jews are lying. When he say we believe in totally different uh, Christ, that's not true. Because the Jews, they don't believe in Christ come yet. So what different Christ? And the Muslim, they believe that the Christ we believe in is the same Christ he believe in. And that's why they say in the Quran, don't say Trinity about Christ. So this coward, he tried to avoid answering the question, which it should be, well, if Christ is not Jesus, then Muhammad obviously is a liar, but because he don't dare to say so. Now we can go and find some reference. <clears throat> we showed you from the Quran, but maybe we understand understood the Quran wrong. Maybe. You know what I mean? Because uh, somebody might say to me, it doesn't say that at CP. <laughs> you never know. You never know, brother and sisters. You never know. So here we have in front of us a book. It's called Ahkam al Quran. Ahkam al Quran, the chapter of Al Imran, uh, Ayah 35 to 36, page number 354. I cannot use Google Translation here because this is Google Books and you cannot translate a, you know, a bit, an image. This is just an image. Uh, so here you will see it says that he is from the progeny of David, he is from the children of David. Uh, actually, maybe we can translate before we go to the page. Hold on. Here we go. We can translate here. <clears throat> you see? And then we can go to other books. We can try to find Ibn Kathir as an example. Let us see. This is Ibn Kathir. Al Bidaya wa Nihaya, which means the start and the end. Ibn Kathir, volume number two, page number uh, 67. Here it says. Let me find you. <clears throat> Here it shows you all the names of the family supposedly of Isa based on Mary because he's born of Mary. It says here. <clears throat> it's speaking about Miriam, quoting chapter 3 verse number 33 and 37 and here it says that Allah he chose Adam and from his progeny he chose certain people who obey and the family of Abraham uh, and from them the children of Ishmael the children of Isaac and then Allah he chose the best the most holy house or let's say the most pure house which is Al Amran. Well, Muradu bi Amran, Hada, Waridu Maryam. And Amran is the father of Mary. And it's mentioned by Muhammad ibn Ishaq, etc., etc., that it is the following names. He is the son of the son, the son, the son, the son, and he is the son of Rahabam, the son of Suleiman, the son of David. 
This is Ibn Kathir. And here it says, and there is no question, no question, that Mary, she is descendant from the progeny or the children of David. We will use Google Translation in the front of your eyes. So now we show you the Quran and we are showing you the Muslims interpretation and the Muslims explanation. Do you see it? So here they are explaining to you who is Mary and Mary she is the son, the daughter of etc. The daughter, daughter, daughter. You know, blah 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 blah. This, and then the son of son of son of son. And until we arrive, that she is from the lineage of David. And here it says, and there is no dispute that she is from the lineage of David. But this potato in his video, he was squeezing himself because supposedly now. He got a strong point. Look at his face getting red. He is very sure. But listen carefully. Muslims don't believe that Jesus is descended from David. Listen, listen, listen again. Listen again. What? Really different, really different. Uh -huh. They don't believe. I want you to listen to that again. Muslims do not believe that Jesus was a descendant of King David or the fulfillment of a Davidic covenant. <laughs> Let us show you more books. Let us go to Ibn al Athir. <laughs> What a certified donkey. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let's go to Tafsir al Khazim or al Baghawi. This is Tafsir al Khazim and Tafsir al Baghawi. <laughs> Sorry, this link here, I cannot translate using Google Translation because this is Google Book. Uh, but I will show you where it says that, anyone who speaks Arabic. So this is Tafsir al Baghawi, uh, value number one, uh, page number three, uh, 439. And they are uh, giving interpretation for chapter uh, three, verse number 33 and 35. Here it says, actually, you know what? I can open Al Baghawi in different uh, website. Hold on. Give me a second. <clears throat> uh, we go here. I mean, what a stupid idiot. What a certified liar, and he have no dignity. I mean, this guy. I mean, the guy he claimed he said. That that uh, the um, the birth of Jesus and from a virgin is coming from the Greek mythology, and the Muhammadan because they have no dignity like him. You don't mind? The guy he just accused your prophet to be a filthy liar. He accused your Quran to be a fraud. He just said that Mary she was not a virgin, and this is a lie according to him, coming from the Greek mythology. Just don't mind. So what? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, let us see Tafsir al Baghawi. Where is al Baghawi? Where is al Baghawi? So we can love al Baghawi, al Baghawi. I'm looking here. Al Qurtuvi, al Mahshari. Here we go. Here we go, we got Al Baghawi. And then we go to chapter 3, verse number 30. <clears throat> and now we can share with you links as long as we have Al Baghawi in different page, not in Google Books. 
Here we go. So this is Al Baghawi. And now we can share the link with you. So you yourself, you can use Google translation from your side and you can save the reference. This is a chapter three, verse number 33. It says that Allah, he chose Adam and Noah and the family of Abraham and the family of Imran from all mankind and from their children. Now we use Google translation. In the front of your eyes, translate to English. And we share the link with you already. Right away, you will see that according to the Muslims, they believe that Jesus is descended from David. Let us show you. You see here the word my you might see it says Dawood. Dawood is David. So like in case you do not know or you do not uh, recognize it. So when they say Dawood, this is the Arabic word of David. So it says here that he is a son from the 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 son of David. This is not a Christian book. This is not a Christian book. He is Imran, and Imran is the father of Mary. And by the way, the stupid Muhammad, remember that, he, he, he thought that Imran is the same as uh, the father of Moses. The confused Muhammad, this is why he believed, this is why the Quran says, al Imran. So all of them is one family, Imran, Moses is his son, Aaron is his son, Miriam is his daughter, Jesus is the nephew of Moses and Aaron. Here you will see, from the sons of Suleiman, the son of David, peace be upon him, the father of Mary and Jesus. Do you see it? So when this guy, he make, you know, I mean, those people, they, uh, yeah. and, and the Muslims, by the way, the, the funny is, all people who listen to this idiot is Muslims. And this is telling you the whole story. You will find a few Jews, they listen to him, very few Christians. And if we, as a Christian, we listen, we love. And the coward, he will never dare to debate us. But, I was going to speak about a different topic, and then somebody says to me, do you see what this guy is saying? I don't open links when he pays people send me. So I searched for, I told him, give me, the, give me the, the name of the video. He said that the Muslims don't believe that Jesus is from David. And I said, okay, well, as long as he is so sure that he was squeezing himself too much, <laughs> What about I squeeze him a little bit? <laughs> Jesus was the son of King David. <laughs> so it's very different. It's... Very different. But Muslims don't believe that Jesus was the son of King David. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I love the Chinese, not because of their food, but because of a sentence I learned, I learned when I was a kid, a little sentence. I was reading a book. It's called, uh, um, uh, the word intelligence. 
And the author, he quote a sentence from the Chinese saying, he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. And why I'm not expecting you to become a horse one day? <laughs> I'm not going to keep you for long. Please share the video around. Let everybody laugh at this guy who is very short. Like, what the heck? Are you sure? <laughs> oh boy. You know, brothers and sisters. Actually, there is a there is a Muslim website. It's called Sunni Sunna Files. They are Sunni, you know, and they have an they have a long article study <coughs> by their sheikhs talking about the where, by birth Mary was she you know she is born okay Jesus have no father what about Miriam and and as long as Jesus is born of Miriam so he is going to be belong to his mother according to Islam. And this is Sunni file article, and it says here, وَأُمُّ نَبِيَّ اللَّهِ عِيسَى عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ هِيَ مَرْيَمُ بِنْتُ عَمْرَانِ مِنْ سُلَالَةِ نَبِيَّ اللَّهِ دَوُودِ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ Translation And the mother of the Prophet of God, Jesus, peace be upon him, is Mary, daughter of Amran, from the lineage of a prophet of God, David. Muslim don't believe that Jesus is born from David. You know what? <laughs> I feel sorry for squeezing yourself. I mean, I squeeze myself without squeezing, really. I mean, I'm just using my lips here, uh, and it's really tiring. Why you squeeze yourself too much? Your health. It's not healthy. All of this you covered because you don't dare to say to the Muslims that Jesus is not Jesus and Christ is not Christ. Why you don't tell them your belief? What's wrong with you? How coward you are. Why you don't say to the Muslims, well, you know what? Christ did not come, according to my belief, and Muhammad is a liar. This is not Christ. Why you don't say that? How come you are so brave to say to the Christians that Jesus, he is not the Christ? But you don't dare to say to the Muslims that Isa is not the Christ. Why you don't dare? You know why? Because you are a hamster. Ham. Star. <laughs> and by the way, this is for the Shia and for the Sunni. Shia and Sunni, they believe that both of them, they believe that Isa, Aka, supposedly Jesus, he is from the, you know, the grand grandsons of David. And we can go to Shia website. And let us let us show you is because somebody's saying is it a Shia same? Um, yeah, we can show you that, no problem. Um, let us show you. You know, those people, they have no, no self-respect. A person who don't dare to say what he believe, he is not a man. Simply, he is not. Now, because we showed you from the Sunni, let us show you from the Shia now. It's time for Shia. 
Um, give me a second. Actually, I have the reference in front of me, but I want to find you an official Shia website, not just a Shia website. <clears throat> Uh, give me a second. You know, this is why, like here, we don't we don't prepare for for things. We just go live, and you know, we do what we need to do. Same when we debate. You know, we do not need to two month of uh, preparing uh, for for debate. Uh, All right, let us see. Actually, I have reference in front of me. I can, if uh, if I did not find an official website, I will show the website I'm showing now. I'm, I have it now, but I prefer to have something very official. Okay, I think we found something official. This is official government website of Iran. 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 The website is called Al Kawthar. And this is Iranian TV station, the official government of Iran. Let us show you. Actually, we will post the link for you. And here they are talking about from his progeny, from his children's, is David, Solomon, Zechariah, John, and Asa. Let us go down a little bit. And you will see here. And they are quoting the same thing again. We can use Google Translation. And remember, this is a Shia website. So both Sunni, you know, always when you see the word Ahlul Bayt, Right away, you recognize that you are in a Shia book or a Shia website. Usually, Muslim Sunni, they don't use this term. Ahlul Bayt, the people of the house, they mean by that the people of the household of Muhammad. Because the Shia, they worship them, and they believe that they are light, made of light, they were stars in the forehead of Allah before he created all mankind, and when he created everything, he created them all for the sake of Muhammad and Ali and Fatima and Hassan and Hussein, etc. So here it says that all of the, uh, Isa, uh, the son of Maryam, etc., he is from a descendant from Abraham, and he is from the offspring of David and Solomon. So now we have from both books, the Shia and the Sunni, who is left? believe that Isa, which is supposedly Jesus, is from David. This is why I say, there is many people, you know, they go and they claim to be teachers, but obviously those teachers do not know what they are teaching. This person, he think, or he thought for a second, that now he can give a refutation in other videos, he says that the Christian, they worship a man. But the coward he himself, in different video, he says that God came to Abraham as a man. In different video, he says, Christian, they believe that Jesus is 100% man and 100% God. So when God, he came to Abraham as a man, he was fake man. <laughs> so always, always don't take, don't take your knowledge from he, she, you better do your own study. 
And you will find that those people, especially the person who don't dare to say what is his belief. You know, do you respect, do you respect a person who don't dare to say Muhammad is a false prophet? Be honest with me. Why in the world a Jew? And Muhammad, he killed tens of thousands of Jews. And not only that, Muhammad, he considered the Jews is the enemy of Muslims, the worst enemies. And the Quran actually compared the Christians to be the most close to the Muslims. And the Jewish are the most enemy to the Muslims. So why somebody, he don't dare to say Muhammad is a false prophet when the Quran considered him as the worst enemy to Islam? Why? Very simple. He is a coward. He is just a businessman. A businessman. Chapter 5, verse number 82, it says, You will find the strongest among men enmity to the believers, which means the Muslims, are those who call themselves Jews. Do you see it? So why somebody he don't dare to say that Muhammad is a false prophet and Muhammad he mentioned false messiah. Why you don't dare to say that? Why his mouth is so open wide to attack Christianity, but when it's come to Islam, he is a puppy. For he is a hamster, salesman. The same verse says, the most enmity to the Muslims are those who call themselves Jews. And the most nearest who love the Muslims is those who call themselves Christians. Do you see it? But here you ask yourself, how come the Muslim then they support this guy? Do you see the irony? All those who subscribe to his channel are Muslims. Not a single Muslim is upset from him. Satan making a united front, and we are victorious. Even the Quran says that those who follow Jesus, those who follow Jesus, they will be victorious till the day of judgment. Read with me. This is what the Quran is saying. We are victorious, my friend. You see, Muhammad is a false prophet, yes. But Satan, he knew. The same as Satan, he knew who is Jesus. Satan, he knew that God in front of him. He said to him, if you are a son of God, throw yourself. Jesus said to him, it be written, don't taste or examine. Your God, you cannot do that to me. And the Quran in chapter 3, verse number 55 says that Jesus is alive. And those who follow Jesus, they are victorious until the day of judgment. And by the way, this verse proved that Muhammad again is a fool. Why? Because if those who follow Jesus are victorious until the day of judgment, then the true Christianity never changed. Because until the day of judgment, since Jesus' time, since he was born on this earth, until the day of judgment, those are the Christians who will be victorious. If the Bible of Jesus is gone, if the teaching of Jesus is gone, so how those follow Jesus, they can be victorious until the day of judgment. We will be superior. 
Muhammad is a false prophet. He is not a prophesying. He is Satan who he knew where he will end. He knew he will go to hell. He knew that the day will come when the Lord, the Messiah, will descend down in earth. And those who disobey him, he will order his angels and he will say, bring them here. We have a person, his name is King Genius. Our friend King Genius, I think you chose the perfect name for you. People, the Bible contains incest passages. A Muslim, he sat in his chair and he decided to bring you something. You will be disgusted. The Bible contains incest passages. Uh, Abdul, shall I show you that how the children of Adam, they were fighting over their sister because one of them, she have a cross eyes. And Allah, he told them, make a Qurban. And the one I will accept his Qurban, he can jump to his sister. The Bible have verses of incest. Shall I show you that a Muslim, he can have sex with his daughter if she is not a daughter from marriage? Chapter of Al-Furqan. 2552. Shall I show you that Muhammad he jumped to his own son wife and he did if her? When the Bible mentions stories of people committing sin, you strip it. Doesn't mean that the Bible is saying they are good, they weren't doing good. The Bible contains verses of incest. The only God who approves incest is your God, not my God. Challenge me. I will open sky for you if you want. And I will make you read with your own eyes that you are, as a Muslim, allowed to have sex with your daughter as long as she is a daughter out of marriage. He left as a donkey. He never came back as a mule. Or as a horse. <clears throat> so, Muhammad and they are so desperate. In the same time, your stupid prophet, he put his hand on the Torah and he said, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. What's wrong with you, prophet? Huh? What's wrong with your prophet? I mean, why those Muslims do not see how stupid their prophet is? And by the way, there's somebody in the previous video, I made a comment. He says, the Christian prince, why you are speaking about stupid things? And I said to him, are you saying the things your prophet said are stupid? Because all what I did, I was just quoting your prophet. Christian Prince. For the sister. Did the person in name Christian Prince? And he threw stupid things from the ground. And stupid things in the deep. Please, sister, don't listen to him when he says stupid things. Don't listen to him. Christian family man. You are insulting me without noticing. Do you know that? Do you know that? Some people, they have a little brain. Brother sister, he sues stupid things and he talk about it. Well, name for me one smart thing your prophet said is not stupid. Can you? The stupid prophet who have a stupid story that somebody came to him and he squeezed him three times and he told him to read. And the stupid prophet, he is so stupid to be able to read. But yet the stupid angel, he insists that he should read. Then the stupid prophet says to the stupid angel, listen, you stupid, I told you I am illiterate, I cannot read. The stupid angel said to Muhammad, I don't care, you should read. The stupid prophet said to the stupid angel, listen, are you stupid or what? I told you I cannot read. The stupid angel, they squeeze Muhammad again, and he insists that he should read. Now you need to tell me, who is the stupid here? 
the one who was insisting that Muhammad should read, or the one who keeps saying to him, I cannot read? And how in the world an angel sent by Allah, and Allah told the angel to tell him read, and then the Muhammad, he still he cannot read. When Jesus, he said to the blind man, or he said to the one who cannot walk, walk, the man, he carry his bed and walk. We are not asking Allah to make such a miracle because obviously he cannot. Teaching Arabic doesn't take too much, especially this guy speak Arabic already. If you speak Arabic already, I can teach you how to write, how to read in less than few, for four days. If you do not know Arabic at all, I can teach you Arabic in less than two weeks. So why Muhammad? Is God saying to him, read, and still Muhammad do not know how to read, and the angel is so stupid, he do not know that Muhammad do not know how to read, and he keeps saying to him, read. If you say to me that the angel is using the wrong word, he means something else, that means the one who uses it is Allah, and that to prove that the Quran is a fallacy, it's a stupid book, because it is Allah who is saying read, not the angel. The angel is just carry the words. He's like a donkey carrying books. So when they complain about me saying stupid things, Muhammad, he said, like I choose my cherries. Well, can you find me one smart thing your prophet said? Can you? I have a challenge. Life on air. Who can show me something smart, Muhammad, he said. Even though I'm not planning to stay, but you can give it to me in the chat. Show me one thing, Muhammad, he said, is smart. Get me busted right now. I will put it in the screen. My friend Michael, focus with us here. We are not doing comedy for you. We are here to teach. Any Muslim? There's many Christians here. Supposedly they are being funny, but in somehow they are insulting. I'm not your comedian. I'm not here to make you laugh at Muhammad. I'm here to teach you. So if you have a brain of a kid, leave. Do we have any Muslim? He want to show us something smart, Muhammad he said. Anyone? Anyone? I'm waiting for any Muslim. Look at them. They cannot find, with all the help of a prophet Google, one smart thing their prophet said. Anyone? That's it? You have nothing smart about Muhammad? Last call. Who is a Muslim can show us one smart thing Muhammad he said? Okay, well, I give up. As long as you did not show me one smart thing he said, I am going to show you a smart thing he said. The first person ever in history who discovered that a black dog is Satan, it was Prophet Muhammad. There is many scientists around the world, they gather, and they brought a black dog. And after long study, took more than four or five thousand years. And we have the list of the names of those scientists, by the way. All of them, they are Jews. The first one, his name is Abdul Rahman, and he's a Jew. The second one, his name is Ali, and he is a Jew. The third one, his name is Muhammad ibn Hassan, and he is a Jew. The third one, his name is Shabir Ali, and he is a Jew. And the fourth one is Zakir Naik, and he is a Jew. And the one who was bringing tea and coffee, his name is Mimi Hijab. 
after discussing this scientific statement of a prophet Muhammad, they come to a conclusion that yes, the black dog is the devil. Otherwise, why he is black, according to Muhammad? So Muhammad, they ask Muhammad, what is the difference between yellow dog and, you know, red dog and black dog? He said, there is a difference. The black dog is the devil. So the racist Muhammad, just because the dog is a black, he is the devil. As you see, what matters for Muhammad is just the color. Red dog is fine. Yellow dog is fine. Black dog is the devil. And he ordered a Muslim to kill all black dogs. Now, obviously, this is very smart. And this is telling you that Muhammad had been informed this information by Allah. Remember, we are talking about the devil here. We are not talking about a vicious dog, bad dog. No, no, no. He is the devil. He is the devil. And now we knew that this guy who called himself genius, he, why he is following the genius Muhammad? Because obviously Muhammad is so genius. Hmm? And we can show you tons of things about how smart Muhammad is, about how the baby is created from the from the sperm, the sperm became congealed blood. The prophet, he don't remember which one Allah created first. In one verse, he says it was the mountain. The other verse says the star. I mean, it's a messed up religion. Uh, 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 genius, what if I show you this verse you are quoting about some first summer well, from the Quran, you stupid? I mean, the Muslim, they have no idea what the religion, they don't know that Muhammad was trying to be a Jew. Muhammad is a Jew in front of the Jew. He's a Christian in front of the Christian. He is a pagan in front of the pagan. He's a Sabian in front of the Sabian. He is a Hindu in front of the Hindus. What if I show you that the first summer will, is in the Quran, and I will show you the interpretation of the Quran that Allah, he punished them because they did not kill everybody. And actually, if you read that verse, as you will see that they did not kill everybody. And by the way, if you are complaining about killing, especially killing children, your prophet, he says, kill them, they are from them. Kill them, they are from them. Do you see it? Kill the children, they are from them. And not to forget to mention that there's a verse in the Quran is speaking about the glorious Al Khadr, killing a child because one day he will be not a Muslim. One day, he did not yet. He's a, she's just a kid. A Muslim, like a, you know, he's, you know, for me, like a turkey, he keep making, making noise, but the noise make no sense even to himself. Turkey. This is a religion. Is it? Do we have any Mohammedan? All the garbage in front of us, we can laugh at it. You choose any chapter, we will laugh. Anyway, those who will download the video, uh, make is just a special video for to weave a singer, you know, like the rest about Islam, you can take it off or you can make it two part, you know, just make it about to weave a singer, let everybody laugh. I'm not going to keep you longer here. I hope we have a good time and we showed you 
that this guy is a stupid, he is a hypocrite as usual. And the Muslims, when they support this person, they are showing us how much they hate their prophet, how much they support a person, which Islam says the most enemy to Allah is the Jews. And then they support the Jews just because they are attacking Christianity. This is how hypocrite they are, both of them, who attack Jesus. They join forces just because of their hate. However, for us as a Christians, we will never hate the Jews and we will never hate the Muslims. For God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. And the Messiah, our Lord, when he said, and Yeshua spoke again with them, and he said, I am the living God, the light of the world. Whoever follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall find the light of life. That is Jesus, my friend. You follow Muhammad, you are following a person who will teach you that genie and shaitan taken hair from your anus. You are worried when you have sex that shaitan will round himself around your penis. You are worried about farting because the God of Islam, he will lose his appetite to hear you because the little you, the little mosquito you, farted. When you hear Jesus, you hear wisdom. When you hear Muhammad, you hear the most stupid dumb. So which one you follow? The wisdom, the Lord of the truth, or the funny, silly, lily, prophet of God, like Muhammad? Thank you all for being here. Download the videos today or tomorrow. I'm going to do some uh, cleaning to my channel. As you know, I don't keep videos on my channel. So don't complain if I delete them. Save them. Take them. Repose them. Do anything with them as you wish. I know there's many people that are downloading my videos. And even some of them, they are making money from them. I don't mind. They have commercial play, you know, over their videos. Why not? Good for them. They are smart. As long as you are doing it legally and you are not claiming to be me, good for you. I'm happy for you. So download the videos and get the word to watch. And if you speak languages, we have our books translated to many, many, many languages for free. For free. For the Lord, he said, for free you took, for free you gave. And the Lord is our provider. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And we see you soon again. Tell to weave a singer, Christian Prince, he call you a hamster. Hamster. Do you dare to say that Muhammad is a false prophet? Do you dare to say that Muhammad, when he said Mary is virgin, he's lying? Do you dare to say that Muhammad, when he says the Messiah is the son of Maryam, he's lying? Do you dare to say that the Messiah of the Christian and the Muslim is the same? Do you dare to say and accept that Muhammad, when he said that the Messiah is alive, to say to Muhammad, you are a liar? Do you dare? For sure you don't dare, because you are a hamster. Such a word need real men. You are not. You are just a salesman in the market of the devil. Thank you, God bless you, and see you soon again. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that 
most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. In it. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 